Epispadius, Wikipedia Audio An epispadius is a rare type of malformation of the penis in which the urethra ends in an opening on the upper aspect of the penis. It can also develop in females when the urethra develops too far anteriorly. It occurs in around 1 in 120,000 male and 1 in 500,000 female births. Most cases involve a small and bifid penis, which requires surgical closure soon after birth, often including a reconstruction of the urethra. Where it is part of a larger extrophy, not only the urethra but also the bladder or the entire perineum are open and exposed on birth, requiring closure. Epispadius is an uncommon and partial form of a spectrum of failures of abdominal and pelvic fusion in the first months of embryogenesis known as the extrophy, epispadius complex. While epispadius is inherent in all cases of extrophy it can also, much less frequently, appear in isolation as the least severe form of the complex spectrum. It occurs as a result of defective migration of the genital tubercle primordii to the cloacal membrane, and so malformation of the genital tubercle, at about the fifth week of gestation. Signs and Symptoms Despite the similarity of name, an epispadius is not a type of hypospadius, and involves a problem with a different set of embryologic processes. Women can also have this type of congenital malformation. Epispadius of the female may occur when the urethra develops too far anteriorly, exiting in the clitoris or even more forward. For females, this may not cause difficulty in urination but may cause problems with sexual satisfaction. Frequently, the clitoris is bifurcated at the site of urethral exit and therefore clitoral sensation is less intense during sexual intercourse due to frequent stimulation during urination. However, with proper stimulation, using either manual or positional techniques, clitoral orgasm is definitely possible. Incontinence, where serious usually treated with some form of continent urinary diversion such as the mitrofenoff, depression and psychosocial complications, sexual dysfunction. The main treatment for isolated epispadius is a comprehensive surgical repair of the genitourinary area usually during the first seven years of life, including reconstruction of the urethra, closure of the penile shaft and mobilization of the corpora. The most popular and successful technique is known as the modified Cantwell Ransley approach. In recent decades, however, increasing success has been achieved with the complete penile disassembly technique despite its association with greater and more serious risk of damage. Even with successful surgery, patients may have long term problems with causes. Relationship to other conditions Treatment Prognosis <laughs>